Howdy, it's Kyle talking about the 10 best states for barbecue. This is one of those lighthearted videos I like to do every now and then just to highlight regional variations in different things and present them in my personal favorite order. So barbecue is one of my favorite genres of food. So I wanted to talk about regional variations in barbecue throughout the country and which states have the best ones. The word barbecue means different things in different parts of the country. Where I grew up in California, barbecue is a verb. You barbecue steaks, you barbecue hamburgers, and the grill is the apparatus. So you barbecue steaks on the grill. In other parts of the country, it's the exact opposite. You grill steaks on the barbecue, which is the apparatus. But where I live in the South, barbecue is a noun to refer to the type of food. So do you want to get burgers? you want to get pizza? No, let's get some barbecue. So for that, I'm going to be using the southern definition of barbecue for this video because there is a certain part of the country that's going to be overrepresented in this video, and it's not New England. And if you are southern and you like barbecue, do check out this video from a channel called It's a Southern Thing. This is one of the funniest videos I've seen. I've watched it a bunch of times, and if you are not from the south, it is truly, genuinely a great guide on how to find great barbecue in the south. But let's take a look at the 10 best states in the U.S. for barbecue. Starting off the countdown is Hawaii. This is the only one on this list I have not had, but based on what I know about it, I feel like I do have to include it here. Traditional Hawaiian barbecue is called Kalua pork. It's a whole hog wrapped in leaves and smoked in an underground oven with volcanic rocks. The end result is a tender pork that is pulled, often like you'll find in the south. And most of the tourist-oriented luau's are going to have Kalua pork as its main dish. And make sure to buy more pins for the viewer wall map so I can get to Hawaii so I can try this stuff in person. For research only, though. At number 9 is Mississippi. The state is very well known for having a lot of individually great barbecue joints, but there isn't really a Mississippi-style barbecue that is unique to the state. Most of the barbecue you'll find in Mississippi is influenced by other areas. So even though there are lots of really good individual barbecue places in the state, I'm putting it fairly low on this list because it doesn't have a specific this is definitely Mississippi style barbecue. There is some interesting goat barbecue that you'll find in parts of the northwestern portion of the state, but it is a relatively small area where you will find that barbecue and definitely not statewide. But because it's only found in just a couple of counties, it's hard to say this is Mississippi style barbecue, even though it really is only found in these couple counties. At number 8 is California. The California cut of barbecue is called tri-tip and it's found primarily in the central part of the state, south of the Bay Area, north of LA. This is mainly the Central Coast and the San Joaquin Valley. And as the name implies, it's a triangular shaped cut at the tip of the sirloin. Because it can be difficult to deal with, this cut is often what is used for ground beef or ground sirloin. But when done right, it's just a great piece of beef. The meat is very juicy and it's usually served without sauce, but if you order it in a sandwich, you might get a dipping sauce along with it. So California is not the first state you're going to think of when you think of barbecue, but it is pretty good, especially in the central part of the state. At number seven is Alabama. And although I love Dreamland, I wouldn't call that necessarily Alabama-style barbecue, so for this list, I'm counting Alabama barbecue chicken with white sauce. This is something you're really only going to find in Alabama and mostly only in the northern half of the state. I know people in LA, lower Alabama, and the coastal areas will say white sauce is not Alabama, but most of Alabama does live in the northern half of the state, so I am counting this as the statewide barbecue. The white sauce is a mayonnaise-based sauce, which sounds disgusting, and it's not the most photogenic barbecue out there, but it's mixed with apple cider vinegar and other spices, and it's really good. And if you're like me and you're not really a big fan of mayonnaise, you might not think to try this, but give it a try. It's really good. At number six is Tennessee. Now, I will say as an overall state, Tennessee might be very well the worst state in the South for barbecue. I've referred to Tennessee as the black hole of barbecue in the South. But in Tennessee's defense, I will say that even though the state as a whole is not great for barbecue, this is where you have the best fried chicken. But that little tiny southwestern corner of the state makes up for it. That's where Memphis is. Traditional Memphis ribs are pork with a dry rub. You can get some with sauce, but Memphis style is usually dry rub. And in that dry rub, there will probably be a little bit of heat, a little bit of spice to it. I've eaten at several different places in town, and my personal favorite is Elwood Shack. To get there, you go through a Home Depot parking lot, drive around the back, and there it is, a little shack. At number five, I'm going with New Mexico. 
If you're going to have any kind of ranking of the states in a food category, you can be pretty sure that New Mexico is going to be near the top. Traditional New Mexico barbecue is a big old chunk of beef brisket slow cooked. But with this being New Mexico, it differentiates its brisket from other places with it being much more spicy and with some heat added to it. So if you like some heat with your meat, check out some New Mexico barbacoa. And at number four is its neighbor, Texas. When you think of beef brisket or just beef barbecue in general, Texas will probably be the first thing you think of. And Texas brisket is about the beef and really not much else. It's rare that you'll find sauce with brisket, and if you ask for it, you might get a mean look. It's tender, it's juicy, it's naturally flavorful, and it doesn't need sauce. And I think overall the brisket cut is just a better cut for barbecue as opposed to the tri-tip cut. One thing that's nice here in Chattanooga is that recently a pit master from Texas moved here and opened up a barbecue joint. And now you can get genuine, really good Texas brisket here in Chattanooga. I had a really difficult time deciding between three and two, but for number three, I'm going with North Carolina. The Carolinas are known for their whole hog barbecue, which is exactly as it sounds. From what I understand, this is the most difficult type of barbecue to manage, but the end result is well worth the effort. It is really good. Doing whole hog on the grill like this makes the skin kind of crispy. So you get the tender pork with the crispy skin. Oh man, that's good. The pork is then often diced up and put in the sandwiches. Or if it's just the shoulder, it'll be pulled pork into a sandwich or a plate. And Carolina style barbecue almost always has some type of sauce on it. For North Carolina, there are two main types of sauces. In the western, more mountainous part of the state, you're going to find a tomato based sauce. But the more prevalent sauce you'll find in the state is the Eastern North Carolina style, which is more vinegar and pepper based. And you won't have a hard time finding a really good hole in the wall barbecue joint in North Carolina. At number two is its neighbor, South Carolina. South Carolina pitmasters do whole hog similar to North Carolina. And probably the most well known place doing whole hog barbecue in the US is in the low country of South Carolina. So the meat is very similar to North Carolina style, but it's the sauce that is different. You can find a similar vinegar and pepper based sauce in the more coastal parts of the state and you can find a more tomato based sauce in the mountainous part of the state. But when folks think of South Carolina barbecue, they're thinking about the mustard based barbecue sauce, something that is unique to the state. And when I moved to South Carolina, I fell in love with the barbecue, but it isn't just the meat and the sauce. It's also something called barbecue hash. Don't ask what it is. Just eat it. It's really good. And then after it's fully digested, ask what it was. But a big old scoop of South Carolina barbecue hash really adds to the whole experience. And my pick for the best state in the country for barbecue is Missouri. That one-two punch of Kansas City and St. Louis, wow, great ribs. In Kansas City, you'll find mostly pork ribs, but you can find beef there as well. And one thing I really like about Kansas City ribs is that you can get ribs without sauce and they're really, really good, but just about every place will also have homemade sauces that really complement the meat as well. And most of the places that I've been to in Kansas City have multiple types of sauces, maybe a, a hickory type or a spicy and sweet. So it's nice to get a full rack of ribs with each half done in a different sauce. St. Louis style ribs are very similar to Kansas City and from what I understand it basically just comes down to the trimming before it goes on the grill. And whereas Kansas City sauce is usually a thicker type sauce, St. Louis style is usually thinner and more vinegar based. So pork or beef ribs with or without sauce, Kansas City or St. Louis style, you really can't go wrong with Missouri barbecue. So that's my top 10 states for barbecue. And of course, whenever you do something with food, it's going to be entirely subjective. So I just wanted to highlight some of the regional variations and barbecue types throughout the country. And if you're more of a beef type person, then the ranking might look a little bit different for you. But just kind of shows that different parts of the country have different ways of cooking up some good meat. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about geography. I do videos like this, but mostly talking about cities and states and a little more serious and a little more nerdy type perspective. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King signing out. I want to give a special thanks to my superior patrons for their support, especially Shaquille from Pennsylvania. If you're interested in supporting the channel or purchasing a pin for the viewer wall map, check out my Patreon page, link in the description. But as always, thank you very much.